Hello, Kevin from JJ Hat Center. How is your hat supposed to fit? That's an old question. A lot of people come into the hat shop and I say, does it fit? What do you, how does it feel? Uh, I don't know. How's it supposed to fit? Common question. Yeah, um, after a while, you kind of just, you get it. You know, you know. After enough hats, you sort of know where you want your fit to be. Um, what I'm going to tell you off the bat is my old chestnut go large. Okay, go big and adjust it down to fit. Don't go tight and imagine it stretching. It's not going to stretch. And if it does stretch, there's a lot of side effects. Okay, small stretch. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you stretch it, which way. You can't, you can't stretch a hat and imagine everything to be the same. It, it, it won't work. Okay, you got to go a little bit large. I've got a big pad in here. Okay. Generally, the padding goes underneath the leather, but uh, so you don't even know it's there and stuff. So the idea, go big, pad it down to size. That way you adjust it. You get it exactly the way you want. You fine tune it. Now, you're not going to get it off the rack exactly the way you want. You probably don't even know what you want yet with fit, you know. So don't complain if you're a little between sizes. Everybody's between sizes. Um, they would have to make so many sizes that, you know, nobody could afford to sell hats. Anyway. Everybody's between to some extent. The idea is the leather band inside is like a nice pair of shoes. It stretches with your head, makes the shape of your head. So it's got to be nice and supportive, you know, not tight, but just snug. So that sweat band will break in and make a good shape for you. So what you want to do is make it a little bit oversized and then tighten it up to perfect fit, you know and then you'll get exactly where you want to be. Now, where is that? Where do you want to be? Generally, it's, you don't want it to obstruct your ears, okay? So if it's all the way down here, what do you do with your ears? They stick out? Do they just kind of fold up in a weird sort of make you cringe kind of way? No, you don't want your ears folding. Um, the idea is, for me, it should come very, very close to the ear for most people, okay? So think of it as a small space above your ear would be typical. Very, very small space. Barely touching it and raising it would be a little on the bigger side, but still okay. Um, kind of close to it, like, you know, a finger or two would be kind of a tighter fit. It should be real close, okay? Now, I'm not talking about when you do this. You have to keep your hat level to measure this, okay? Go by feel. You want it to feel tight enough that it'll stay on if you could lock it down to your brow bone, tie your shoes and stuff, but then you're going to wear it right above your brow bone for a normal wear. And when you do that, right, sitting on the brow bone, but, you know, not at the widest part of your eyebrow, sitting above it on it, then you're basically going to look here, you want that space. There should be enough space to get a guitar pick, to get a pinky, depending on how you like your hats, we all like it differently, everybody. Some of the old men like it super tight, they don't want it to blow away. Um, some of the young guys like it really loose, and the girls like it loose because it looks really fashionable, or they just want it comfortable. So, you know, you can't go too loose, it'll blow off. Like, you could always just tighten it up to, to you know, fix that. You can't go too tight because you're going to get this red line here, and that doesn't go away for a while. It stays there, fades slowly. You get this dent. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to wear your hat. It's just a headachey thing. You just don't want to wear it. You know, it's a horrible thing. So don't go small. Go big. Okay. Tighten up your hat to fit. And when you get it right up to the ear, make sure you got a little space so that it's not obstructing your ear. Right now, if you're the type of person who likes to go crazy oversized big, like really big, let me get another hat. Okay. Now, if you like to go super, super big, it's going to have to touch the ears in some way. There is a trick so that you can go really big without it, like doing this side ear folding thing. Okay, what I do is I tilt the hat at an extreme angle, okay, which looks really cool. And then one ear is totally in. It's in there, well, very big. And one ear is not even close to it because I'm doing a tilt. Also, it makes the hat fit tighter because you're you're fitting your head on a diagonal line instead of that way. You know, your head's this wide, but when you go diagonal, it's much wider. So your hat gets tighter that way, so the big hat works. Um, generally, I don't wear 
this hat a lot, you know, but uh, it's very, very oversized, this hat. That's it, that's the rules, okay? You want this hat to be lock, lockable. So even though this hat is super, super big, I mean, I can still get the widest part of my head, which is the eyebrow, the brow bone, I can still lock it down, tie my shoe, you see? It's locked down. It's really big. There's, you know, there's space in there, but uh, it's, it's tight enough. So basically, um, that's what you want to do. You want the hat to be a little bit um, snug at your brow bone so that it will stay on in the wind. But then when you wear it for normal use, it's going to go above the brow bone. Just above a little bit like that. Okay. Checking the sides. You want a little space between ear and hat. It can barely touch it. It can graze it. But you don't want it to fold over and obstruct it. It can't be that low. Okay. How do you get it off your ear? If it is too big and it's bumping into your ear, what do you do? You tighten it up. You take padding, you put it in the back, underneath. You could go to my video, how to tighten a hat, you know. And you just tighten it. The tighter you go, the higher your hat will raise. Okay? Um, unless there's separate issues. Sometimes you're bumping into the top, the roof, and that's why a hat looks high. So it could still be loose, but just so shallow, you yeah. know. So a good way to test if it's the roof or not is to punch that out, open the crown, then put it on. Okay, oh, it's not hitting the roof anymore. Okay, so the hat is actually big. So when, when your hat, here's what I'm saying, when your hat is shallow like this and you're not getting enough depth, it sits up here and you don't know if the hat is too big or too small. It's sitting high, which is a symptom of being too tight, but it feels loose. Uh, the band is not even where it should be. It's way up there. It should be down here. Okay, so the way to tell it, if it's too shallow or if it's too big or too small, if you're just perplexed, punch out the crown. So the crown does not obstruct you. It has no bearing on it at all. And then, see, if you fold down to the roof like this, obviously it's too big. Okay? But if it's still staying high, yeah, the hat was tight, you know? That's what I'm getting at. All right. So your hat shouldn't really bang into your ear. It can just barely touch it. That's okay. Keep a little space there. And, and you know, before you tilt it, that's when you find this stuff out. That's how you get a good fit. Right above the ear, teeny, teeny little space. Everybody's space is different. Guys will like it tighter, might like a couple of fingers. Guys that like it looser, might like, you know, just touching the ear, but not obstructing it. But you adjust it to fit, and that's it. That's what you do. Still got time. Mm-hmm.